Hi, and welcome to a virtual edition of STEM Storytelling, a program of the North Museum designed to connect children with books to activities that you can do at home. I'm Tom Baldridge, the president of the Lancaster Chamber of Commerce, and it's my honor to read a book to you today. The book I've chosen to read is called The Perfect Square by Michael Hall. It was a perfect square. It had four matching corners and four equal sides. And it was perfectly happy. See the smile on the square there? But on Monday, the square was cut into pieces and poked full of holes. It wasn't perfectly square anymore. So it made itself into a fountain that babbled and giggled and clapped. On Tuesday, the square was torn into scraps. So it made itself into a garden. I bet you're seeing a lot of those gardens come about right now in, in the neighborhoods around your house. On Wednesday, the square was shredded into strips. So it made itself into a park. On Thursday, the square was shattered. So it made itself into a bridge. On Friday, the square was snipped into ribbons. So it made itself into a river. What do you see here in the river? Two fish. On Saturday, the square was crumpled and ripped and wrinkled. So it made itself into a mountain. On Sunday, the square waited to see what was next. And it waited and it waited and nothing happened. The four equal sides were confining the four matching corners were rigid and cramped. And as you can see, the square was frowning. So it made itself into a window. It looked out onto the mountain that gave birth to a river that was crossed by a bridge that led to a park that was home to a garden and had at its center a fountain that babbled and giggled and clapped. The end. Now I would invite you to take a look at the PDF that accompanied this uh, video and do the activities at home and enjoy yourselves. Please be safe, stay distant, and we'll get through this together.